So, hello everyone. Hello everyone. I'm Estelle Lotta and this is my son Caleb Nicholas Lotta. We are at the moment in China. Yeah, we are sitting under house arrest uh, for a company called BKL. We're standing witness against them in court because they have done fraud in their own country. Um, I am now reaching out to you guys for some help. I don't normally do something like this because <laughs> I've never been in a situation like this before. Um, when we first came to China, we were informed by the company that we did not need any documents or any experience or qualifications in order to teach here in China as a teacher. We just needed to be native speakers. We needed to speak fluently in English. So we had a video interview with the owner of the company, Martha. And she said, no, we qualified for the job. So we signed the contract and we faxed it over to her. When we arrived here in China, they promised us that they will get us some working visas, which never really happened. Um, then four and a half months after we arrived in China, they told us that um, the company has been uh, called in for questioning and the owner of the company left the country. Um, she ran away because she knew she was doing wrong. Um, so now... When I wanted to come back to South Africa on the 1st of August, I was informed by the officers um, at the airport that I'm not allowed to leave the country due to I entered the country illegally. Um, and that the Chongqing police uh, want to question me about the company. So... My flight tickets, um, well, my flight tickets and my son's flight tickets no, was no. cancelled and we never got our money back for them. Um, so you could say it was like 16,000 RMB, yuan, which is roughly 32,000 rand that was thrown down the drain, which we will never see again. Um, Now I have been here under this investigation for going on six months. Um, they told me originally it will take four months for the case to be over. But yeah, I've been sitting here for almost six months. The end of January will be officially six months. When I went to the court, the prosecutors the beginning of January they informed me that um, this court case will only appear in the next month or two three months so it would probably be the end of January or the end of March um, I don't think it will be the end of January because they've got their Chinese New Year's coming up soon and no one works during that time. It's the Spring Festival. Um, the Spring Festival ends the end of, well, the 11th of February, which is now soon. Um, hopefully they call me into court, and when they do, then I can appeal to go home. Um, but at the moment, uh, the South African Embassy and Durko told me they cannot help me until I have phys physically appeared in court, which I'm now patiently waiting for that day to come and hoping it will come soon because I just want to come home. I cannot afford to stay in China anymore and I was told that I'm not allowed to work in China anymore. Um, at the moment, me and my son are sick. Uh, I have not gone to a doctor yet because I can't afford a doctor. 
So we've been using home remedies. Um, the reason why me and my son are sick at the moment is because this town I stay in is very damp and very, very cold. Um, and also the air quality is slightly on the unhealthy side. Um, I've had an officer that's dealing with this investigation help me a lot through this whole thing and he's helped me with this apartment. It's the cheapest apartment that we could get. Um, it's like you saw in the video, it's, it's not very nice, especially for a little boy just, just under the age of three. It's very unhealthy. Um, I... <laughs> I just want to come home, like I said before, I want to come home to my mother where I can have help from my mother raising my son alone. Um, my husband did come with me to China, but when this investigation went on, he decided to leave the town that we are in and go to another town to start working for a school. Um, so we have not really heard anything from my husband. Um, Money-wise, we've been surviving on the living cost that the court has sent for us, um, which is 2,000 RMB. 2,000 RMB does not go very long and far, uh, especially when you have a little boy. <laughs> Uh, I need to pay for rent, I need to pay for utilities, and I need to pay for food. I also need to pay for health costs, like doctors and things like that. And at the moment, I cannot afford it. Um, I am hoping, hoping, and praying that this court date will come by very soon so I can just come home if there's any way that you guys can help us I really do appreciate it <laughs> like I said before I know I've said this many times but I want to say this again I've never done this before I don't know how you do it um, but this is me telling you about my story here in China about being scammed by companies that think they're doing the right thing by hiring people and telling them you don't need any qualifications. I just want to tell you, all you young folks out there, don't believe what you hear. Don't. It might sound heavenly, it might sound wonderful, but it's not worth it. Get your qualifications. Get your TEFL, get what you need, and then come for a better future. But before then, rather stay in a country where you need to work your ass off. <laughs> um, I wanted to come here for a better future for my son, better education, but yeah... Unfortunately, I was scammed by a company that did fraud. Um, sorry, I'm crying. It's a bit um, tormenting for me. But yeah, this is my story. And I'm asking for help. And I'm also warning all the young people out there. Don't believe what you hear rather go do your studies when people tell you that you don't need documents and you don't need qualifications to do teaching here in china it's not true and if they say that they're going to get you a working visa you come over with a tourism visa at first don't don't believe them because it's all scams agents and companies they are all people that scam you into things like this because they know all us South Africans are gullible because we want a better future. We need a better future. 
so I am here speaking out to you, asking for help and giving my advice. Thank you for listening and I hope everyone gets to hear my story.